I'll, two weeks from now, I'll have more to say. The good part. Um, because there's an answer for this that's, that's rising on the horizon. I, I mentioned it when I talk about openness theology. Some say God can't choose because he doesn't know. Okay? Really important doctrine floating around out there. Well, God can't choose. God doesn't know. But, well, the reason God doesn't know is there's nothing to know because nothing's happened. You can't know what hasn't happened, they say. It's their opinion. They have therefore created other than the true and living God. But anyway, for the sake of argument, he can't know what hasn't happened since what hasn't happened hasn't happened. It doesn't exist, so how could you know it? That's their little argument. It's called open theism. God is open like everybody else. He needs to read the morning paper just like everybody else to find out what's going on. So they say, God, their, their way out of this uh, emotional trauma that the doctrine of uh, election produces in them is to say he can't choose anybody because he doesn't know what they're going to do until they do it. Really. So God doesn't know the future. That's how they get God off the hook. How is it that Isaiah 46, 10 says he, he knows the end from the beginning? 